Good evening, everyone. What's up? Just ate a satisfying meal. Topped it off the easy dessert to Mr. Hot to speaking. Previously, there was a food product talk video on the Talenti Sicilian Pistachio Gelato. Today's going to be another food product talk video, and this video is going to be on the original Rice Krispie Treat. Got these at a church, at the First Methodist Church in Penyan. These were bought at Sam's Club in the um, bulk pack. They could, they were also, they might have been bought at Walmart too, but these are the original, original crispy marshmallow squares. These were invented in 1939, and these have been very popular snack in America. It's 0.78 ounces, 22 grams net weight, seen here. Um, let's see. So it's got blue packaging. Appropriate because the blue packaging goes well because of its color, kind of. They kind of do look blue, but nutrition facts are taking over one panel started there backwards yeah sorry about that it's got um one bar 22 grams 90 calories 20 calories in fat two grams of fat three percent three percent saturated fat 0.5 grams 105 milligrams of sodium four percent 17 grams of carbs six percent eight grams of sugar less than a gram of protein four percent vitamin a two percent iron 2% vitamin D, 10% thiamine, 10% riboflavin, 10% niacin, 10 vitamin B6, 10% folic acid, 10%. Alright. Alright, let's give this, let's read the ingredients, shall we? The ingredients flap are under here. Here are the ingredients flap. It's got um toasted rice cereal, rice, sugar, salt, malt flavor, niacinamide. Right, reduced iron, rubber flavin, vitamin B2, folic acid, marshmallow, corn syrup, sugar, gelatin, natural and artificial flavor, fructose, margarine, vegetable oil, oil soybean oil, palm oil with TBHQ for freshness, water, natural and artificial butter flavor, contains milk, datem, acetylated, monodiglycerides, BHT for freshness, vitamin A, palmitate, vitamin D, Corn syrup salt contains 2% or less of dextrose, glycerin, salt, niacinamide, pyrodoxine, hydrochloride, vitamin B6, thiamine, hydrochloride, vitamin B1, riboflavin, vitamin B2, soy lecithin contains milk and soy ingredients. So basically, the three main ingredients to this um, recipe is our... The rice cereal, the crisp rice cereal, the rice bubbles that are they're called in Australia, or like the um, the rice crispy cereal, or the crisp rice cereal, the rice cereal, whatever you call it, and it, it, it that's its base. The base is rice cereal. The second ingredient, which hold the two ingredients that hold together are fat and sugar. The sugar coming from the marshmallows and the fat coming from the butter or margarine. So this is basically a combination of carbs, fat, and sugar. This is basically a cereal mixed with fat and sugar. Very interesting combination. Like th that's the base recipe for most desserts: a carb, which is like flour or grain, sugar and fat can come in any source. That's how granola is made. But this recipe is very easy to make. It's made with just rice crispy cereal, marshmallow and margarine or butter, whatever, and some flavoring or two, and maybe whatever one wants to use. It's very popular, and let's see, and it's got a lot of unnecessary ingredients in it too. These are a waste of packaging too. It's a way. It's it's probably better just make these by scratch. We're gonna open this up and give this a taste though. But these are really easy to make. There's ingredients online for these. They smell really sweet. It smells a little bit like marshmallow. It smells a little bit like margarine, not butter. It smells like margarine. It's really sticky. It's very soft. It's very crunchy. It does make a lot of noise. It makes it makes a snap, crackle, and pop noise when one plays with it. See here. All right, let's just give this a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that is really sweet. Mm. Man, is that sugary? Yeah, it tastes a bit buttery from the margarine. It tastes like melted marshmallow 
and rice cereal together. It's really sweet, and that's about it. It tastes like those pebble cereal. It kind of tastes like the fruity pebbles or the um remember those sugar cookie pebbles that were limited edition? It tastes like those kind of. But it it basically just literally tastes like pure sugar with rice cereal. It's it tastes similar to like frosted flakes or frosted rice cereal. Very interesting. But overall, We'll give these a nine a nine out of ten, a nine point five out of ten. Since they, they can be pretty addictive when one is really hungry, but they're just nothing but an empty calorie. This is this is nothing but a refined grain mixed with fat and sugar. More sugar than fat though. I mean the refined grain being the rice cereal, the fat being the margarine, the sugar being the marshmallow. Mixing fat and sugar makes food products addictive usually. Oh, it's worked for every food product probably, but there's no fiber and there's far too little protein. There is little to no protein in this. There's little to no nutrition at all. It's just nothing but carbs and a little fat. That's an empty cal calorie snack. It's low in nu nutrients and high in calories. This is a low This is a this is a low nutrient dense high energy dense food product with that that's all there's to say for this review recommend this for kids because kids do would like the color of the packaging and they would love how sweet they are kids love sugar therefore this would be a treat for them and this is a very decorative treat this serves as a base for other desserts this is just a base in a bag literally a, a, a treat base or a sugar a sweets base it can be topped off with chocolate drizzle, it can be topped off with more marshmallow, it can be topped off with frosting, M&M's, chocolate chips, little candies. They can also top this off with strawberry, strawberry juice, caramel, etc. and peanut butter. They have like several, I mean like other Rice crispy Treat flavors include strawberry, peanut butter chocolate, and chocolate caramel or caramel, or peanut butter caramel chocolate, or berry. But the main flavors are chocolate, chocolate drizzle, rainbow, and double chunk, double chunky chocolate. But these are really easy to make, easy to find, available in several other brands, store bought brands. Make them, but it's better to just make them instead of buy them. With that, it's all just to say for this food product talk video. It's Mr. Hata signing off. Peace out. Yeah. Good night. Yeah.